How's it going everyone? My name is Rose Guy, and today we're going to be taking a look at Mega God of War EX. This card is one that was on the ladder when I joined the game. The first time I played, then we had two Mega God of War EX on the ladder. Uh, it was around 2019, maybe the end of it or so, I don't know, I, I can't remember. Uh, but it was a pretty alright card, but in my eyes, as a noob, it was bad, because Plus 10 is just not enough for discarding your bench Pokemon, but of course there are Pokemon that take advantage from coming to the discard pile. Uh, Pokemon like um, Execute can just come back into your hand all the time, no matter how many times you've done it, even though it says one during your once during your turn. Whenever they go into the discard pile, they are considered to be out of play, so they, their ability just reactivates all the time. And then we have Garatina, which um, if it's in the in the discard pile, you can activate the ability, put him on the bench, and then you can put one damage can on up to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Now, one, this helps you out with getting your damage back to do even more damage next turn again with Mega God of War EX, but it also just helps you out by damaging the opponent, and you can then later on one-shot them with your Mega God of War. It's just a perfect combination. Now, what the, what the whole strategy of this card is, um, we just want to fill our bench all the time. We just want to get these Pokemon in play, and these Pokemon in play, and we want to use Mega Gardevoir's attack to get them in the discard pile. We have then a, an empty bench, with of course another Gardevoir maybe, another Gardevoir EX or something like that. And when it's again our turn, we take them all out of the discard pile, putting 40 damage counters in total on two Pokemon, on two opponents' Pokemon, and of course getting our Pokemon back executed to use them with our um, with our Ultra Balls, for example. So it's a pretty, pretty, pretty fun combination, to say the least, because we are constantly playing, we're constantly using that ability and. Sometimes that can really take a long time, eh? it can really really take a long time. Now, without further ado, we really want to start playing. Um, the difference that I have in this list here is that I mainly focus on Roxy. I have some Professor Juniper. I have, I have one N, just in case I need him. I have one Boss Order, why? Because I have Versa Seekers. And I also have a Kuzma Hala, um, needed for these energies, for the Spirit Link most of the time, and also for our Skyfield. Now this Skyfield here will make sure that we can have a big bench. Pretty obvious, right? Um, and also two switches to prevent that we get stuck or something like that. Uh, and also a Field Blower, which is of course handy to get rid of that opponent stadium. For example, the Chaotic Swell, if you want to put down a Skyfield, that's pretty necessary in this deck, a Skyfield, that's why. Uh, and also, of course, dual cards could be very handy. And of course, we are going to power our Pokemon up with Mega Turbo. This card here is just an insane good card. Right? Why? Because it guarantees you to get an energy from the discard pile onto your Mega Pokemon. It's basically just a Turbo Patch, but we guarantee, and your Pokemon can be a DX. That's pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty necessary card, especially for in late game when you can evolve and you need him on the bench and stuff like that. Uh, we also used four quick ball, why? Because we can use them for free and then we can do whatever we want with these Pokemon in our hands. No nest balls. Um, no, of course we have also four ultra balls, we can also kind of use them for free and perhaps we can use them also for getting our basic energies into our bench. Uh, sorry, discard pile. We also have two the Dennis. Um, we can use them, why? Because we can just put them on the bench and then um, get rid of them with our God of War, so they're basically turned to do damage, and they're not the prize cards that our opponents can take. So yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, and yeah, that is the deck basically. The Roxy is a good good draw. It draws six in total if you discard two Pokemon, which is also beneficial because we need these in the discard pile, and we we can use get them back if we need to. Um, so yeah. Very, very good combination. I love it. Uh, yeah, you guys have to wait and see because it does really perform very reasonable in this meta for some reason. Even though it's from 2016. Yeah, it does pretty well, actually. So yeah, you guys have to wait and see. And I'll see you in the games. Cheers. Alright, first match of today with Mega God of War EX. Now, it has been a while since I've recorded a deck. Uh, I'm sorry about that, lads. Sorry. I really am. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the answer to that. Just my bad. Ooh, that's a... 
that's an alright start. I mean, it could could be way worse. That's the thing, though. We don't want this really in play until we can discard it. That's what happens most of the time. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Let's hope that he doesn't have any Snormax. <laughs> Snormax is a tanky boy and does huge damage. That's what Snormax is, man. I can't handle that thing. But this deck is mostly big, big fun. Really big, big fun. Let's see what he does. Oh, indeed, V. Nice. Okay, now I think I'm going to bet down. Get rid of Roxy in this case. And get a Guard of War EX. Let's just first check what is prized and what not. Okay, so one Spirit Link prized. One Roxy prized. Think an energy as well, maybe, I don't know. Oh, two quick two uh, ultra balls are prized. Okay, okay. And none of the Pokemon are prized, that's nice. Alright, I don't know what the other things is are the pri that's prized, but yeah, okay. I capture energy to get another God of War. Nice. And now we wait. A rather reasonable start, you could say. <sighs> Par pardon, pardon me. Oh, nice. Lovely top deck. Put this down. Put that down. Use an N. Now that's rather nice. Now all we need is a switch. So we're gonna use this. Then we're gonna use this to get rid of that Garretina in our hand. Then we're gonna get another Garretina. And then we're gonna get an Execute. Which then we use the Dene. No, we have a switch. Lovely, lovely. We go and use this. What's the weakness? Darkness. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get another Garretina. Let's say, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna use the executes. Now this is the moment where we have yeah huge damage. So 180 HP, our maximum is 190. I think we might be able to do it. Well, well that was lucky, I believe. Uh, say the least. <laughs> now let's go and select all the Pokemon that we need to get rid of. Being all of these. Yep. Kaboom! <laughs> Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the first game I play now on record. Now, okay, it was a lucky one because since he has in that in DDV, he was completely blocked. He couldn't even use one supporter, which was a very sad thing to see. Not gonna lie, but yeah, at least we proved that we could actually set up in one turn. Okay, <laughs> no, that's nice. That's nice. Really is nice. What are we going to pick? Oh, well, let's go for this slice and dice. All right, let's go for another match then today. <laughs> I never, uh, the reason why I have low on this is because I'm qualifying for the cups. Um, so yeah, I'm more wasting time to use those keys because that's 50 tournaments I need to play. That's a lot, okay? That's a lot. <laughs> because one tournament can be up to three matches, can up, take up to 30 minutes. So yeah, 30 minutes times 50, oof. We lost, okay, please let us go first. First is what you want, really want. Yeah, thank you, mate. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty reasonable start, not gonna lie. So we can uh, again go with that capture energy first turn. Again, go for the God of War first turn. Oh, sorry. Okay. Very odd. Very odd. Hmm. Oh. I see Heavy Ball. I see Misty's Favor. Hmm. Might be a very bad deck. Not sure. Okay, nice. We're gonna keep that in the hand. Very well. Wow. Okay, lovely. So, look at this. This is the strategy. 
So now we have two of these in our hands. We can easily use the quick ball, uh, sorry, ultra ball now. So we go and use that. We go and get a God of War. We go and get this back. You see, I can just reuse the ability all the time. And that's what makes it so strong. We're gonna go and get another God of War. Just in case they do something weird. I'm gonna get this Garatina. And I'm gonna keep that in there. Okay. Pass the turn on to you, bro. So next turn, we can either go and get rid of all the cards in our hand with Juniper, which seems like a bad option in this case, because we can really use an energy like this in the discard pile. Gladion. So uh, look at the face down prize card, put one of them into your hands, switch the other with this card. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so Rogue Ring, okay, if we don't kill him now, he has resistance, so we can't kill him. Okay, too bad, too bad, but it happens. Uh, okay, let's go and get another Execute. Gonna go and use this onto God of War. And uh, I believe we're just gonna use this to get that energy back in the Discord, because that's optimal for us. Okay, this is good, but also not, because we need the um, tool, we need the spirit link. Otherwise, we're going to end our turn, which is not optimal, of course, to say the least. But alright, I'll take it, I guess we don't have a choice. I don't want to discard all of these cards, would be a shame. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna play down the Skyfield at this point, because there's no need to. If it, if we do, then we might lose it and not make any use of it. So I would rather have him... Sorry. Whew. I'm tired. I'm tired, bro. <laughs> I'd rather have him use an end or something like that. Than be wasting our Skyfield. So there is Aldino. What is his deck even about? By the way, mines, I never actually play on Expanded, so I have no clue what the decks are I can find. I have no clue um, if this has anything to do with how many times I play on Expanded, because yeah, if you don't ever play on Expanded, then, then yeah, you, the opponents you might face are also very new, right? <laughs> so there might not be any interesting matchups for you guys. Anyways, we have a Switch, we have... All the Pokemon that we need, we have every fucking thing we need. Oh, sorry about that. I just swear. Um, sorry, that was my bad. Not okay. Okay, I'm gonna get this just in case we pull any spirit links. I'm gonna put this down. Boom. Go for the sky fields. I go and switch. Now we go and execute again. Execute. And we're going to be using our Roxy to draw 6 cards and see if we have a Spirit Link there. Spirit Link go! There we have him. Lovely. And I will use the power of... Oh god. Okay. That just got stuck for some reason. And now we use the power of the Mega Turbo. Kaboom! And now we get 3 other Pokemon in our, on our bench. There's no need to, since I mean... Oh, no, actually, it's better. Just the most amount of damage, because if he goes and retreats, then these Garatinas can maybe knock him out. Not in this case, though, but, you know... They can work towards knocking him out. Minds, all these matches are all just after each other. After I record the intro of the deck, I record how to play the deck. I just play matches, and this is the result, okay? I'm not a scammer, <laughs> just so you know, I'm not a fucking scammer. I'm not those YouTubers that uh, will record matches and then their best match that they've ever seen in their life is the one that they show, right? That's not how it, I'm working. 
Okay, so we now finally see darkness Pokemon that uh, can actually kill us. So we have here a Black Lance Pokemon. Basically an Italian, basically, yeah, basically an Italian V Max. For only GX and EX. Alright, that's a great ball. We can't use our, yeah, you know, we need a sky. Well, we have the Guzman Hollow, so there's no need to worry. Let's go and damage Pokemon already. Um, there's no need to. Yeah, we need to damage these two. Go, go. Wow, wow. Let's try that again. Go, go. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. So now this has 240 HP left. This is in the 90, so we can actually knock it out. But no, it has, doesn't have any resistance. That's great. That's just great news. Uh, okay, and now we're going to use the executes to get something with our Guzman Hala. Um, I might just get another guard of our EX. I don't know. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, first I'm just gonna get in like this. There, nice and neat. Attach that. Use Guzman Hala. I'm gonna get rid of the energy there. So, oh wow. Okay, so there's no spirit links left in the deck. So that was priced. Nice, and also no special energies. The only energies left in our deck are for Psychic. Wow. Well, luckily we don't need any of those now. <laughs> Anyways, let's fill our bench again. Nice and neat. Next time we can go for the Versus Seeker and get ourselves Roxy. So we don't have to discard that beautiful Mega there. What a beautiful world to the port and the land An iPad of away from craving old white sands Do search for my love forgotten friends Anyways, <laughs> okay, so he goes and maybe evolves him Not sure, but uh, excuse me, fuck I keep yawning, my god <laughs> I keep yawning, it's insane <laughs> Anyways, uh, next turn we can go and do another 30 damage on our opponent Pokemon, which puts them down to 210. Bro, no. <laughs> Why are you using that? Ouch, 300 damage. Look, luckily, no weakness, so. It's not a weakness, we have actually resistance to this guy. Oh, no. Well, yeah, well played. <laughs> How are we going to take it out? See? <laughs> wow. Ouch. I mean, I would say this deck really runs well, right? It really does run well. <laughs> well, I bid farewell to the poor Tandalans. Well, actually, damn, that's a good idea. Using a healing scarf on a Grimmsnarl because you will be putting a lot of energies onto him. So yeah, that's a very good choice. Not gonna lie. Let's open our options up with this Roxy. Go Roxy. Okay, nice. Kinda. Let's put three damage counters on the opponents. There's no real way for us to like get past this big boy now, I believe. But I mean, we can at least try, right? We need our we need that spirit link. We can't just waste our turns for evolving. But, yeah, 
there's no real other option. Good. All right. Kaboom, 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 kaboom. Nice. And an 80, and a 50 left. What a pain, bro, what a pain. So it's all about healing, nice. I like his deck, really nice. But I mean, yeah, you can't really compare a card from 2016, all the way from X and Y, to a card that is literally from 2020. It's four years difference. <laughs> but I do think, actually, like, it does set up pretty damn decent well, eh? It's a good card, I like it. It's a good, good, good card, because you're actually discarding all the time. You might as well just try and stall him out. Oh, oh, almost did that. <laughs> that would have been a bad idea. We have already put 90 damage counters on the opponent. <laughs> wow. Um. Let's just go and check if I can find another guarantee. No, oh there. Hello there, mate. I'm gonna try and switch into a uh, guarantee or something like that. use the end to get uh, him to a low hand size so Caratina you go you go and get this get an N oh wait we don't have any ends oh god oh that's too bad <laughs> sadly can't do anything about it so just go oh, I could have used this actually oh well Oh, Lysander. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. Lysander, you go, probably. Wait, why? Oh, yeah, because... Okay, never mind. Oh god, yeah, there it is, another big boy, oh he's gonna use his GX, your opponent can't play any trainers from their hand during their next turn, if this Pokemon has at least 5 extra darkness energies, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Yeah, yeet! <laughs> Oh yeah, we can't use... Damn, that hurts. Alright. Well played. What a lovely bastard. He did good, he did good.
Nice. Good game, good game. I liked it. Yep. We did reasonable damage for an old card. We did pretty decently against that big heal guy. But of course we had no chance. That was just noticeable from the start. We had no chance once we started that healing process. Let me just see it. Look at his dick. Okay, so 2-2 two, two line. Oh well, yeah, since he has this hoop IGX. Um, but yeah, that's definitely not the optimal deck because he has literally 101. Uh, but yeah, it's alright. It's an alright deck. I like it. Could have been, of course, better if you look at other, the amount of cards that he has. Like, uh, I'm not not sure if that's good, but okay. Uh, yeah, good game. I liked it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked it, wait, 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 give me a second. If you if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope I see you all in the next video from Rose Guy. Cheers and have a good day.